Hey guys, this is Dave. Hey, I want to take a few minutes and talk about masks for bearded guys. So when this uh, coronavirus thing came out, I had a mustache and a stubble or a little bit more than a stubble goatee and clean shaven everywhere else. So when it first came out and masks started to be required and, and a good idea, I thought, I went right to my old trusty neck gaiter. Everybody knows about neck gaiters. Uh, I had this in the drawer from our motorcycle and sand rail days. So I went to this and it was great, you know, because I put it on, I had a stubble goatee and uh, didn't affect anything. It was easy to take down when no one was around, easy to pull back up when people come around. So it was, it, it was doing a great job. Uh, but we were in Arizona, so things started getting warm down there. And then pretty soon, having this thing on and around my neck and the back of my head, it got to be a little hot. I'm a warm-blooded guy. Plus, wearing this all the time, it wanted to roll down the back of my neck, and I was always adjusting it and whatnot. But So this thing kind of had to go to the wayside. So there were some ladies in the resort we were staying at making face masks, and uh, the proceeds were going to the frontline workers at the hospital. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I bought one of these from them, right? And again, I didn't have much of a goatee, or I started my uh, beard in, in uh, May 1st, so I didn't have much yet. So I bought one of these, and I started wearing it. Well, this has these strings. Come to find out, I'm kind of a klutz. We go to the store, for example, I sit out in the parking lot, fumbling around trying to tie this thing behind my head, and uh, half the time I'd tie the top string to the bottom string, and it was a mess. Then we get done shopping, go out the car, take it off, and find out I had to stop somewhere else and battle these strings once again. So uh, that got old real fast. So I went back to the ladies again, and they made another mask. I'll take that off. Like this. So this had these loops that go over the ears. So that worked out pretty well, except it didn't really fit tight around my nose, so I got a bunch of fogging on my glasses. And as my beard grew, uh, I started getting the indents in my beard like so many of you deal with. So I didn't like that. So then I started looking at Amazon, and I ran across what I thought was going to be a great idea. There was a guy riding a motorcycle, and he had another version of a neck gaiter that looked like it was a lot looser. And it had these ear loops that would help hold it up. And it wasn't as big in the back, so I figured it'd be cooler. Well, so he ordered a pack of three. You know, this, this guy in the video, he must have had a grape-sized head. Because when I put this thing on my melon head, it was really tight on my beard. Now, I did love the fact that it had these ear loops. That made it nice. And it, it was less on the back of my neck, so it was a little bit cooler. But it was just too small. It was just too tight. And I tried to stretch this thing out. I would pull it and stretch it, and it just wouldn't stretch. So then I had a bright idea. I said, I'm going to cut up the back of this thing and make it loose. Just have it hanging off my ears. Well, that actually worked pretty darn good except it kind of gave me the elephant ear effect. That wasn't so cool. So because I care about cool, I decided, this is actually the one that I cut, I decided to do some folds and I gave it to Diane and she got the old needle and thread out and she did some stitching and she created, and that way we created this. Well, I really like it, right? Because it goes all the way around, yet it's open in the back, so it's nice and cool. I don't know if you hear that, but it was uh, nice and open in the back. It covered the beard real well, and it was cool in the back. And the ear loops kept it in place great, but I fogged up a lot in the glasses because there's nothing up here to keep this around my nose. So I was watching Chris on the Beard Swag channel 
and he was showing off this face mask. Now this face mask was made by a lady named Pepper from My Doodle Design in Oregon. Now we took off full-time RVing almost eight years ago. We left Oregon. So between being an Oregon girl and someone trying to do something for themselves to make a buck, I had to give it a try. So I contacted Pepper via email and she was very responsive she got back to me quickly answered all my questions we went back and forth two or three times and uh, seemed like a nice gal so I ordered this for me and we ordered one for Diane of course it's not a bearded one her beard isn't as big as mine uh, she ordered one with puppies on it so we ordered this so now I can Put that against my nose it cuts down on my fogging up my glasses it doesn't quite cover the sides like this one does but plenty and it's plenty loose on my beard so this has become my go-to now I assume you was able to hear what I said I what I said was the nose piece kept it tight so it didn't fog up my glasses as much um, it covers my beard pretty well, not as not as much as this one, but that's okay. This material is cooler than what this is, and it's still plenty long to cover my beard and cover my beard for <laughs> probably the next two years before it gets that long. So this has become my go-to face mask. So I wanted to share my face mask journey because I know it's been a big topic on. Uh, Facebook channels and YouTube channels and whatever else, but uh, go check out uh, Chris at Beard Swag. He has a number of them that he talked to Pepper, and uh, she made up special for him with uh, logos of Beard Swag, and I forget what all he has on there. Now, I might contact her again and see if she can even modify it more like the shape of this one, and I might even put Dave and Diane throwing caution to the wind on here, or pickleball rocks or well that's that's probably that's already uh, taken but uh something about pickleball we love to pickleball or go hike or something but anyway keep that in mind give old pepper a call or check her out online she's easy to find on on uh, on the web and there you go so that's it so hey if you like this video at all if it helps you at all heck if it didn't help you at all Hit that like button down on the YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button. If you're watching this on the Instagram, I'm sorry because I have not gotten Instagram figured out. But uh, anyway, go over to my YouTube channel and uh, subscribe. I think I'm up to 38 subscribers now. I'm never going to be a big boy subscriber, but every time I get one, I, uh, I get a kick out of it. So that's it. I won't take any more of your time. My Doodle Design. Pepper. Go check out Chris on Beard Swag. He has a lot of information on these face masks. Have a great day.